the visibility of this movement, which you're contributing to by commenting and watching my videos. Thank you. The fat activism movement is very visible. It's very visible. And ironically, there's very little movement. Let's go with Elizabeth T, number two. Elizabeth T, number two. We got one. It's called Fat Her Again. God damn it, Elizabeth. God damn it. God damn it. Fat What's activism. The, uh, the comment says, fat activism, LOL. Be for real. Being fat isn't desired. It's not. And I'm sorry that we're watching a video from this person again. Uh, I'm going to put an end to that. Thank you so much for perfectly proving my point. We need fat activism because so many people think fatness is so bad. Enough for you to basically act like it's unnecessary to like advocate for good treatment. Just a little thing called like being a human. Fat activism is so necessary because there's so many comments like this. There's so many things that people see online all the time that are just mocking fat people, mocking fatness, and there needs to be some of the other side. There needs- Let's mock the stupidity that comes from fat people trying to justify it as if it's something honorable or something that you have to really work hard for. visibility of this movement, which you're contributing to by commenting and watching my videos. Thank you. The fat activism- movement is very visible it's very visible and ironically there's very little movement so calling fat activism a movement that doesn't have visibility is the opposite has way too much visibility and has no movement <laughs> because visibility is how we transform lives because if it hadn't been for the other fat influencers Go to the gym. and fat scholars transform and lives. Go just to the people gym. putting in the work to be visible in this movement, say it again. I wouldn't be here. And I know a lot of people would say, uh, good riddance, but... Based. Based. You fucking people. Super based. Based. I'd argue I have already made a more positive impact on so many people's lives <laughs> than the people who are commenting. You, you have made an impact on people's lives. You have. A lot of impact. Ah, but that's none of my business. Things like this. Remember, at the end of the day, all I'm ever advocating for is... Laziness. Weakness. Equality of humanity of fat people. <laughs> like, uh, so if. Ah, uh, I'm going to stop right there. Ah, uh, that's right. That's where you're at. Your, your equality of humanity. Okay. Equa All I'm asking for is equality of humanity. Well, there isn't. There is no equality. Now, should people be treated equally? Sure. I mean, treated in, ter in terms of equally, like, how do you mean, right? I think there's human rights. So if you're talking about human rights, well, you already have them. It's called the Bill of Human Rights. So, well, it's called the Bill of Rights, but you know, you get my point. You already have human rights. No one's, no one's executing fat people. No one's throwing tomatoes at fat people in the street. You just need to take care of, your, of yourself. It's objectively unhealthy and you don't want to change. And then you're asking for people to pity you. You're making yourself a victim. People don't like when you're making yourself a victim. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. It's like when someone says, I'm awesome or I'm so popular. Or, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Even if you are smart, people are just like, shut the fuck up. If you're a victim, if you were attacked, you know, or something physically, then that technically is, you know, attacker and the victim, but it's also the mindset, right? So you could objectively be a victim in terms of definitions, 
but it's also how you perceive yourself. If you label yourself as a victim, if you label yourself as someone who's oppressed and doesn't have human rights, yeah, you're going to whine and bitch and moan about everything, but you already have that. You're creating an argument or a fight that doesn't exist. All you have to do is build some good habits, close your mouth and put in some work. You'll feel better about yourself. You'll look better. You'll attract more positive people in your life because you'll start, you start seeing people differently. People will see you differently. You handle yourself differently. You know, if you don't have good, if you don't have confidence and you don't take care of yourself and you have poor posture and you're standing around all meek and you're just, people are going to treat you as such. You don't attract. That's where you have like the law of attraction because people see these things. They see body language. They see how you handle yourself. They see how you treat yourself. And if you treat yourself like shit, then people are going to treat you like shit too. And it's not that they're going to actively be mean, but all of a sudden your lens of how you perceive people's opinions. If you hate yourself, then everyone else does things, whatever they're doing, you're projecting your own self-hatred into their minds. Like, oh, they're, they're doing this because I'm fat. They're doing this because, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not skinny or I'm in a size 25 or a, or a torrid one, I should say, right? You're projecting your own thoughts into other people's heads. You don't know what they're thinking. People are in the gym and they're overweight in the gym. Like I saw people are looking at me thinking I'm fat and I'm fucking gross. And they might be looking at you thinking, Hey, they're making a positive change. That's awesome. Good for them. Which is honestly what most people think. If you're in the gym and you see someone who's obese in there on the bike or in there lifting weights, what do you think? You're like, oh my God, that person's, you might think like, I'm glad I don't look like that, but they're getting after it. And you could be honest. You'll look at that and be like, man, I'm glad I'm, I take care of myself that I don't have those issues. But if they're in the gym, you're like, good for them. That's where you should be. If you're obese in a gym, it's don't be embarrassed. That's where you're supposed to fucking be you will be like that until you're not like that anymore. But that's where you're putting in the work to make those positive changes. So anytime I see someone that's in a gym or doing that, the first first thing I think is like, good for them. Fuck yeah. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all she. Out in public, she a good girl. But at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay woke. Crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to 